Hello, everybody. Today we'll be talking about what everyone else is talking about online today, in the past week, past few days. We're going to be talking about the Nintendo Online Services, the price points, possible future of it, and uh, what they were thinking when they decided $50 was a good price for that. So, let's get into it. Look what you made me do. I'm back. You know what? You know why I'm back? Some of you all haven't subscribed or liked the video, checked out our website, Facebook, Twitter. What's wrong with you all? Check it out. Check it out now. All right. So first things first. Let's start off with the price, which is fifty dollars. Where, but if you have the previous one, that one right there, <laughs> that one, there we go. Just had to bend my arm weird. But if you have that one, you know, depending on however many months you have left, you get the prorated discount off of the expansion pass. But I just don't know about that $50 price point. Especially with all the games you're getting, which I mean, I mean, you're getting a decent amount of games, but it's like once they've, they dish out those first party games like F-Zero X and whatnot, and maybe some good third party games like Bomberman, I just, I can't really justify spending $50 for what is essentially just... 64 and Genesis games and then of course you got the DLC coming out for Animal Crossing which is included with the expansion pass it's just I don't know if $50 is worth that especially right now if they if if paying for online actually helped and actually like did something with your online experience I, I might I might have a different tune, but Nintendo's online experience is, you know, in, in general garbage. There's, you know, there's not really, like, dedicated servers. For the first year the Switch was out, it was free. You were playing Smash online for free. Granted, with pretty much the same issues that you have now, but you could play it for free. Mario Kart, you could play it online for free. Splatoon, you could play it online for free. And, there, and then they introduced the... $3.99 a month, $19.99 for a year, and it's just kind of, it left a lot of bad tastes in a lot of people's mouths because it was free, and now we're paying money for no difference at all. You're literally just, they, they put their online services behind a paywall, and really, Truthfully, all you're pl all you're really paying for are the NES and SNES games, of which there's only a handful actually worth playing. Which I mean, I mean, you know, there's there's some good SNES games in there. I, I don't remember exactly how many, but you know, you got just you got your Donkey Kong Countries, Mario, uh, Super Metroid, stuff like that, and. You, there's a billion different ways to play them. Like, not including this. There's just a lot of different ways to play. And you, all you have to really do legally is own the game. You know, I'm not advocating for it, but what I'm saying is there's just so many way, different ways of playing. It just kind of felt, I don't know, bad. It felt real bad. I, I didn't much care for it myself. It's like, why are we paying money for, to play online, but really all you're really doing is paying money for the games? Like, it's just, it's, it's silly. Because you're literally not gaining any better online functionalities from paying. It's the same as it was the first year. And then now they're wanting us to spend $50 on what's essentially 
you know, 64 games in Genesis, and, you know, while I, I like that, you know, I, I think they would do a better job on separating the online, keeping the online free, and then just doing the whole $50 a year separately if you want to, to play, to have access to these games at any time on your Switch. I feel like that would be much, that, that would be better received, I think, if they separated it, kept online free, but if you ha if you paid for this, you get those extra features. You get $50 a year, gets you NES, SNES, 64 games, Genesis, and some DLC stuff. I wouldn't be opposed. It's, it's the whole thing where they're forcing it behind a paywall. And then you're what people be like, oh, Sony and Microsoft do it. And I'm like, well, yeah, Microsoft, all they've always done it. PlayStation didn't really start doing it till PS4. And PS3 had games with gold, but that was an optional thing. And honestly, here with what Nintendo has going on, I, I really feel as though the... The NES, 64, SNES, all that stuff that's included with the expansion pack, I really do think it should be separated from their online. I think it would do a lot better. Because Nintendo has a lot of really good, hard-hitting, first-party, you know, SNES, any... I don't... I can't really say NES. I, I don't... I don't like the NES that much. It's, it does not hold up. But they have hard-hitting SNES games, 64 games, Genesis games... Not first party, obviously, but you're getting those. You're getting Fantasy Star 4, Streets of Rage, all that crap. You're getting all of it, and for fifty dollars a month, that's not bad. You know, it's just it's like a net. It's like Netflix for Nintendo, essentially for Nintendo games. I think if they if they marketed it like that, I believe it would do a lot better. But or at least you know be better received, in my opinion. But I just, I really, I can't, I can't just be like, yeah, $50 to, you know, you have to spend it to play online. Like, it, it turns from an enjoyable experience to like a soul, soulless, money-grabbing gra experience, I guess. It just, it doesn't feel good for the consumer. For me, I don't like it. And... A lot of other people don't like it. And by a lot of other people, I mean the 65,000 people who disliked it. Um, do they even have their comments up? I'm really surprised they do. But they do. For me, for this to be worth it for me, they, they have to... They're going to have to do something with the DLCs. They're going to have to, like, include a lot more deal, free DLCs. They're not free. You're paying for it. But they, they're going to have to offer it with the uh, online service. Be like a DLC comes out. the You know, that first month you can get it for free if you have it. And if you have the, if you have the online expansion pack, you'll even if it's off, you'll still get it. Like, because you were part of it that first month. And that would be a better incentive. Because right now, it feels like the only incentive is for the 64 and the Genesis, really. Because Animal... I mean, yeah, Animal Crossing's a pretty good system seller. It's You've got a lot of... You know, a lot of people play it. It's got a lot of sales. It's just... I don't think there's that many people who are just die hard. I, I, I don't... I don't think it's a it's a good money making strategy because it's kind of anti consumer. But the other thing that kind of kind of iffy for me, anyways, is the how are they going to deliver us these games? Like in the future, with the 64 Genesis, we might see Turbo Graphics and random other crap like that. I'm sure we're going to see those. Everything we used to see that was on Virtual Console is probably going to end up here. 
but the way they're just drip feeding it they're just like here's two games i'll see you three months later why it's it's, it's almost like don't even bother if you're only like literally every time it's only been like three games it, it's silly and half the time it's obscure stuff that's either no one's heard of or no one really cares for so i guess to end on this i i think they're really going to have to rethink this the whole switch online thing i think the online should remain free but keep the nes 64 genesis dlc stuff and in toss you want instead of making people feel forced to buy it especially the 399 a month or you know 20 dollars a year you know it, it just kind of feels forced for what was not even really that good of an experience it doesn't add anything to the online experience so i, I think they should separate it and treat the nes snes 64 genesis they need to treat it at its as its own thing with the dlcs and stuff they, they need to treat it as it's and toss people with the deals with that and not kind of ham fist it down someone's throat with their online you know premium three ninety nine four dollars a month it's just I, I i could see them i i could almost understand it if they changed it to like you know 35 or 40 dollars a month that wouldn't be as bad of a hit but it's literally a little bit more than double base price and it's not even really adding that much I mean, yes, it will be cool to play those 64 games online, but again, it's not really adding that much. It's just kind of sad, really. But let's hope one day they'll see the error of their ways. And until that time comes, goodbye.